What's going on guys? It's Lady B. We've got some exciting news, some big things coming, a lot to talk about. It's been a while. Stay tuned and find out more about some great competitions and I just hit 10K. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry for the really long delay. It's been a crazy month, a lot going on, including a massive storm that came through and knocked my power out for almost a week. So recovering from that, getting everything all set and ready to go. Um, I did have a generator, so I was able to do some streaming, but I was working off of limited power. So this is why you didn't see me for some time and maybe just a little bit of burnout after um, the world championship qualifiers <laughs> and everything that went on. But we've got some exciting stuff going along. The first thing I want to talk about, which we'll talk about in another video. I want to do a special video on this, but we just hit the 10K on my YouTube channel. So thank you to you all who have subscribed, who continue to watch the video. It's very much appreciated and means so much to me to be able to hit this big milestone. So I guess the next big one is really that big 100, but we'll be counting down the other milestones to go. So I'm going to put out another video. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know about what we're going to be doing because we're going to do a couple of giveaways with that. But why we're here today is to talk about oddities. Now, you may know, you may have seen it from Carbon, from Eric, but oddities have a great competition coming through and they are asking for your craziest your weirdest your oddest triples but the first thing you have to do is apply so let's talk a little bit about it and let's take a look at some crazy hits to get an idea of what we'd be looking for so the first one we're going to talk about uh it's been labeled as the salem circle and i think it's because it has kind of an ominous presence to it uh the witches and the P.E.K.K.A.s and the lightning spells. But this is really interesting and it takes advantage of the ring style base. So let's take a quick look here at this raid and kind of break it down as it goes along. So the first thing that we see is the zap that actually comes into play here taking on, I say the zap, the lightning, <laughs> the lightning spell and the quake, the zap quake that comes through and takes on the clan castle. Uh, and the scatter shot there. So that eliminates a lot of damaging threat initially to the opener here. So with the Grand Warden working through, obviously you want to eliminate uh, clan castles when you're doing one of your hero entries, particularly if you're doing a Sui entry. For the Warden, it would be fine, but you don't want to risk it depending on what's in there. You don't want to lose your Warden and his ability. You need it later in the raid. So a smart move of capitalizing off the side-by-side -side scatter shot and um, clan castle on the entry here so he sets up this funnel it's looking pretty good we've got the pekka and the witch over on the nine o'clock side here actually helping to set this funnel on the opposite end uh, and then we'll see a wall break coming through and giving the access to actually move along and cut its way into the opening of the base here so once that funnel is set and all ready to go. Um, we'll get that nice push going in. And also the lightning spell combination, the zap quake was able to knock out a portion to the side to keep that movement for the pathing to actually work around clockwise here. So we'll get to see that coming through. You'll have to mind, I'm working with a new, <laughs> a new uh, uh, drawing tool. So you have to mind <laughs> mind me while I, while I work through that. So the Ice Golem does great work doing some tanking along the way, especially coming in on uh, the multi-targeting Inferno. We've got the Expos coming down. We've got a lot of damage with the splash of the Wizard Tower as well. So an easy push coming in, eliminating the Eagle Artillery. It's a nice push through. I mean, using the Witches, I think, is a very smart move. You've got the P.E.K.K.A.s as well um, for the... Uh, for for additional tanking moving along. But the thing that you have to worry about here is the town hall in the center of the base. But we're pretty accustomed to seeing these ring style bases now. Uh, pretty proper meta. So the idea would bring to be bringing something in, moving across. Now, I, I got to say, I'm not a huge fan of what was brought um, because I think it was a little risky. I think it was just a little risky bringing in the blimp cutting across, especially because the warden ability has already been used. So you can see this blimp sailing across. It's already picked up a trap along the way <laughs> and it still made it through to the town hall. Um, I think a wall wrecker would have been a little less risky because you've cleared out all the defenses along the outskirts. It would have been a safer path, but he still manages to get through into the town hall chamber. We've got the yetis working their way in. 
to take that out. That would be my only, <laughs> my one only criticism there. But look at what he's got left over. He manages to work through that ring style base with his composition, the Salem Circle. So with the witches, with the Pekka, um, that Ice Golem obviously dies off because he's meant there to do the tanking initially. Um, but great combination of troops to actually work through this ring style base. Okay, here's another one. And I mean, we the names, I love the names. This one is called the, you can name your own raids here. And this is what Teske did with this on his wolf account. This is called the Zap Horned Sasquatch. <laughs> And he told me about this and I'm like, what on earth are you doing? And I didn't even, I, I, I couldn't put it together. So uh, we've got the zap quake combination. So the le the seven lightning spells and the quake, we've got the Pekkas, which are the horns of this raid. Uh, and we've got the Sasquatch, which is, I'm guessing the Yetis though. I think you could combine the Ice Golem together with the Yetis and that should definitely be a Sasquatch right there. Uh, so that's this raid here. And this is a fairly common base that you actually get to see in, run in a lot of the uh, Clan War League wars. And I know I even face it actually in uh, Town Hall 11 and in Town Hall 12 when I have to do my own raid. So this is actually gonna be really great for a lot of different levels to kind of get an idea of the creativity that you can bring behind it. Now for the war that we're looking for, obviously it is 13, but if you have any crazy style attacks that you're doing at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10, definitely submit it and show it because you're gonna have a lot of the creators looking through and, and picking some that we actually find to be done incredibly well. And it could possibly be put up in a different contest contention. Um, but for the war, again, we're looking for Town Hall 13. And let's take a look at this Zap Horned Sasquatch attack. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the zap quake uh, is going to have to be the first thing that comes down. So coming in and taking on the core of the base there. So we've got the clan castle. Uh, we have the scattershot. So clan castle and scattershot taken out. Some of the surrounding defenses as well. Uh, doesn't get the expos down, but the surrounding defenses are always good to get down if you can. And that starts the queen charge uh, or queen. Yeah, queen charge portion off. Uh, to move through. So Queen works her way through. I see the wall breaker up top with the uh, Pekka and the Yeti actually coming through. So this is going to help this funnel moving along. And this is doing this simultaneously. So a nice golem into tank as the RC moves along. I like this combination. This is a lot of tank to get into that Eagle artillery chamber here up at the 12 o'clock side. Look at that big, big push that we have coming through. So a lot of steam working its way in. RC makes her way in to take on the Eagle Artillery. We still have the Queen going, but as the Queen's moving along here, we have a pack of uh, Yetis moving along through into the three o'clock chamber. And the Queen works her way right into the middle of the base. So I kind of like this. So I like pushing the Queen in and everything else is surrounding the outer edges here. So this is kind of like a reverse funnel. This is a different way to think about it. I often actually do like queen charge, queen walk ho uh, hogs or hybrids with these style bases moving along in a very different way. Um, but I like this quite a bit. So blimp sails across, gets to the town hall, knocks that out. Queen is on her path moving along. Now she's lost all of her healers. Um, but this has done a ton of work and we're now like 63% of the base down and everything is fairly well reachable along the outskirts. Obviously we have the multi-targeting Inferno up at the nine o'clock side to worry about here with the queen. Um, but that's kind of an easy push, especially considering we still have this king ability. King is, uh, king is still active and alive and well. So that's a nice big push coming through. The queen actually helps pull him into that chamber and work this around. So very smart attack strategy for something that you guys might actually need a cool strategy for. So try this in the next Clan War Leagues. Let me know how it goes. So let's talk about how you enter to win. This is a Town Hall 13 war. So get signed up. I'll leave the information in the description below. So you have the link to the Discord server and to the website so you can sign up and submit your um, your attacks. But you're going to have to be in the war to do this. So spin date is August 16th. As I'm saying, hurry, 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 <laughs> get your signups in if you want to be a part. And the best, well, I should say oddest triple is going to win 
$50. So really awesome stuff here. You can be creative. You can have a lot of fun with it. And that's the point. It's not to win. It's not to have like the winning team. It's to do the craziest, wildest, uh, most successful attacks because we want to see these actually working. So make sure to submit your videos, your entries, get in, sign up. And uh, I want to see, I want to see what you're doing. And let me know if you have any crazy attacks that you're submitting in my comment section below, because I'd love to keep an eye out and potentially feature it over the coming weeks and take a look at these crazy attacks. So that's it for now. Um, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Stay tuned because we're going to talk about the 10,000 subs on YouTube and some special things to come along with it. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that sub button. Uh, why not? It doesn't hurt any. Uh, and turn on the notifications so you know when these videos go live and when we have some fun stuff going along as well as sneak peeks and updates. Until next time, this is Lady B. I'll catch you guys later. Baby,